Good day traders, this is Roger Scott from Market Geeks with another video tutorial for you today. Before I begin, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to our video channel for trading videos and trading tips. And don't forget to visit MarketGeeks.com for your free trading report. In this article, I'm going to show you a great way to analyze markets. This method of analysis will help improve your stocks day trading techniques as well as improve your overall trading results. One of the first things I teach traders is to look at the big picture and work down from there. When analyzing markets from a long-term view, you gain insight into past trading history and more importantly clues as to how the market may behave in the future. The first thing I usually pay attention to is the current condition of the underlying market. In other words, I want to see if the market is trending or range bound. Once I determine the current trading characteristics, I immediately look back to see when the market exhibited the opposite characteristics. One of the most important rules every trader should know is the longer markets trend and exhibit one-way momentum, the higher the odds that a range-bound period is approaching. Conversely, the longer the market is trendless or range-bound, the higher the odds that strong directional momentum is approaching. There's exceptions to this rule, but typically when you see a long trend that lasts for several months, you almost always see a trendless consolidation period immediately following the end of the trending cycle. Similarly, when markets are range bound for extended periods of time, a strong breakout accompanied by volatility and momentum typically follows this pattern. Since markets are driven by people and people are emotionally driven, this pattern tends to apply across stocks, futures, commodities, currencies, and most other traded financial markets. Moreover, this pattern of alternating between range bound and momentum tends to apply to different time frames as well. Notice in this example how Hyatt Hotel stock alternates between the range bound and trending periods. Once you start paying attention, to this alternation pattern, you will begin taking into consideration when planning your entry and exit strategies. In this example, you can see how this pattern applies to intraday price fluctuations. You always have to keep in mind that markets are driven by emotions. This will help you gain better perspectives of how markets really work and what's really behind each move. Also, keep in mind that there is some correlation between the length of time of each stage and the following stage. In other words, if the range bound stage lasted two months, the odds are the trending momentum stage or cycle will last a few months as well. Once you become aware of alternative trading cycles, you will begin to look and analyze markets a bit differently. Not only will you pay attention to what the market is currently doing, you will also start looking at past cycles to gain clues to help you determine how long the current cycle will last. For example, the U.S. stock market is just entering what appears to be a range-bound market condition after trending for several months. You can see by looking at this chart that the stock market was previously trending strongly since September of last year. It appears that sometimes during the first week of April of this year, the stock market entered a trending range cycle. Since the previous cycle lasted several months, it would be reasonable to assume that this stage will last several months as well. Keep in mind that this analysis is done based on probabilities and not certainty, so no one knows for sure what the future holds. However, historically, alternative cycles have worked for over a hundred years and the odds are they will continue to work in the future. When you see that the markets are changing from one cycle to the next, you should seriously reconsider how you trade that market and the type of strategies that are working in the current cycle. 
Once the cycle changes, the techniques that were used effectively and ones that worked in the previous cycle will not work in the current cycle. Therefore, you must adjust your trading style and learn to trade both trending and range-bound trading cycles. There are many clues that markets provide that can alert us to changes in the market cycle. For example, when the stock market changes from trending to range-bound, both volume and volatility decrease. When markets are beginning the trending cycle, the lows of the day usually occur in the morning and the highs of the day typically occur towards the closing bell. This obviously occurs in the bullish phase of a trending cycle. In a bearish phase of a trending cycle, the highs occur in the morning and the lows occur in the evening. Thanks for joining us for today's tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our video channel for trading videos and trading tips and please visit MarketGeeks.com for your free trading report. Wishing you the best in your trading.